It's Bonnie. Happy Sunday. So <laughs> I had a funny morning, you guys. So I had to run out to Joanne this morning. Um, didn't have to, but my mother wanted to stop in there. And they actually had a deal. It was buy two, get five free. So I ended up, I bought a whole bunch of $9.99 items and I paid for two and then I got five free. It was crazy. The salespeople didn't even know the sale was going on until they saw the email. <laughs> so I ended up, I stopped in Bath and Body Works this morning again and I was kind of tempted to take advantage of the buy three, get three sale with the 20% off. <laughs> it's funny, I posted it on Instagram. I'm like, body wash, but I ended up, I didn't, I didn't buy anything. I was really good. I, I, I held back, go figure. I just took a few pictures and then I walked out because I wanted to find out if maybe they were putting out some of their Easter stuff tonight. And according to what um, the salespeople are saying, no, it's still not coming for like another week or two. I keep waiting because sometimes Bath and Body Works does this weird thing where they'll be like, oh no, no, we don't have it. And then they'll put it out. And I think it's just kind of supply and demand. They get stuff in the back and then it comes out. So you kind of never know when it's going to hit the floors. But I kind of like, I like to stop in there just in case I miss something. Like, hey, did they put a hand cream out that's new or did they put something out? Because I like to show you guys the newest things. But um, it was funny. I was kind of walking around the store took a few pictures and then um, I'm kind of having a internal dilemma here about body cream versus body lotion that I wanted to talk about today. So I, I just have got the new bake shop collection out here and I wanted to kind of compare the lotions to the creams because you know me for like years and years and years I have been buying the body cream. Usually when a new set comes out, I always buy the body cream. I review it. I talk about it. Um, but lately, I haven't been using the body cream as much as the body lotion. Um, and the two, the two formulas are definitely different. So the body cream is cocoa butter, shea butter, and aloe. The body lotion is shea butter, coconut oil, and vitamin E. This is a thinner formula. And in the past, I've always felt like the body cream carries a little bit more scent to it. But lately, especially with this new collection, I'm kind of leaning towards the body lotion, which is which is new for me. And I just wanted to kind of run this by you to see if anyone else thinks this. So, you know, with the price increase, the body creams are now up to $14.50 and the lotions are $13.50. So they're still a dollar cheaper. As far as product, um, they're both eight ounces. So I'm just going to compare really quick the strawberry pound cake cream with the lotion. So if I put this onto my hand, the lotion is definitely... Um, a little bit thinner, although I don't think it's as thin as the, um, like the pink Victoria's Secret uh, body lotion in the, um, the tubes, because this one is really thick. I mean, this comes out almost like a paste. So I'm just going to, I'm going more by scent, because I don't really, I mean, the moisturizing is nice, especially in the winter, but my skin's not really dry. I do it more for the scent. And it's so weird, especially, I've been noticing this, and I wanted to do a video about this, but I wanted to test it out a little bit more. I honestly think that the lotion has more scent than the cream right now, especially like in the strawberry pound cake, because you know me, I am absolutely bonkers about strawberry pound cake. Love this one. And this is the... Um, uh, fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And I have a couple of these. Um, I think I have like four of the, the lotions. And I think I am liking the lotion better. Okay, it's a 2020 moment. <laughs> so now I'm kind of wondering going forward, I'm actually thinking about um, kind of hanging up my body cream obsession and moving into the lotion. Because number one, they're easier to store. I'll have to say that much. And they do last longer. Check that out. You can kind of put these in like a bin. They all stack. One thing that drives me nuts about these is like they don't stack very well. And then usually you have to like, if you're storing them, you have to go like this, which I don't like. Um, I mean, I in the, like I said, in the past, I've always really enjoyed the packaging on this. I mean, if I start doing this. I might get a few just to show you guys for um, 
you know, review sake. But let me let me try the margarita cupcake really quick for you guys again. Like I said, I've been testing these all week. Margarita cupcake in the cream and margarita cupcake in you know, it's stronger in the lotion. I you know, I it's so interesting to me. And you know what it is? I think it just dissipates quicker in the cream at the moment. And maybe it's because it's a foody scent, but I'm really liking the lotion in the margarita cupcake also. This one is that um, Key Lime, Sunny Citrus Blossom, and Whipped Vanilla. And this definitely has like that kind of orangey, cakey margarita scent. I swear it smells like the new Fiji Guavatini. <laughs> like, are these the same? And then the final one in this collection that I've been kind of testing, let me get a different part of my hand here, is um, Confetti Cake Pop to me is actually the strongest of the body creams um, of the three, but it smells equally as strong in the lotion. So definitely, I think these are probably equal in the body lotion and the body cream. This is the only one that I feel like is equal though. But, you know, it's funny because I'm such like an art collector of Bath and Body Works and I love the packaging on both of them. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a hard switch for me if I switch over to um, the lotion and start forgoing the, um, <laughs> the cream. But I'm like, you know what? It would probably be good in the long run because then I can, you know, spend a little more on candles and everything. And I, I really do wish you guys they had brought out a lotion in this line, the Dream in the Sky, although I like the cream. Holy cow, I would have really liked this in the body lotion. So, you know, Bath & Body Works, feel free to bring this out in the body lotion in that entire collection. So anyway, um, let me know what you think about that um, in terms of like the price, the quality of the lotions versus the cream, and um, maybe what your 2020 plans are. Because like I said, I think I'm really leaning towards um, going more with uh, the, body, the body lotion. Let me know what you guys think. So we'll see what I do for the, the tropical collection. I gotta see the whole thing first. I gotta smell everything. So anyway, um, that is my story for today. Cream versus lotion. I do have two uh, white caramel cold brews brewing behind me. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing and comparing these in a few minutes. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.